podcast i gotta get one of those horns <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the sporting goods store and get me an air horn yeah but you can't get the actual air horn you gotta get the one that goes <laughs> yeah, I'm on an air horn that'll just scare the shit out of your neighbors that's all and my cats my cats will love it cats. well your cats are your neighbors technically because you don't have a neighbor <laughs> that's true he moved out because he knew better yeah because your cats like were like look motherfucker this is our area now we run but get shit. The fuck I found there, Chief. <laughs> but yeah, um, new time of day all of a sudden, huh? They fucking, yeah. Uh, they lift the quarantine a little bit. Come on, man. We're on time today. We're feeling good. It's hot as fuck out here in Michigan. Yeah. It's it's, it's pretty it's, hot in your neck of the woods, right? Oh, man. It's like 90 degrees out. Yeah. I ain't going to hold you, dog. I'm fucking <laughs> drained. I'm whipped. I've been outside for like the last two days in <laughs> intense heat. So I'm just like. I could, I, I could close my eyes right now and fall asleep on air easy. You know what I'm saying? But Man. of course I won't because the action is nonstop. The fucking flavor is nonstop. The liveness is nonstop. God damn it. Yeah. Those are karate chops. What were? Those are nonstop too. What? Oh, damn. Can you karate chop as fast as you can punch? Bruh. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Right. Chop like in a bread slicing factory or That's something. That's actually how I chop uh, uh, cucumbers up, too. Oh, nice. It's the same way. I heard you also get black cheese. You don't buy it pre-sliced. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's like Fruit Ninja. They throw the, the black cheese and the cucumbers at me, and I just cut them in midair. And it just lands perfectly on the sandwiches? Sometimes. For your 80% cheese. 80% of the time. <laughs> the old cheese and cucumber sandwich, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. It is good to be back. A lot has happened since the last podcast. Really? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, it's been a week, man. A lot of shit can happen in a week. Yeah, uh, man. Like I had said, um, I think it was like uh, um, like middle of last week, fucking uh, at least in Michigan, like uh, they let like 10 people be marinating now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm that's true. What the fucking actual rules are now. I, I see like. Like, fucking some store, like, there's so many stores open. I'm like, yo, that's not fucking essential. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, I don't know what the fuck the rules are. I know what my rules are. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stay the fuck away from me and put a mask on. That's my rules, but. It's, my, it's the only rule. Uh, right. But, you know, until, until I'll, I'll feel comfortable after the second wave. After our second wave, second quarantine, yeah. I'll feel more comfortable because, you know, I, I just got a feeling we're going to be locked down again. Sometime. Yeah, they, they, they extended it um, to what? Uh, June 12th, the day right before my birthday. Extended what? The Michigan lockdown. What are you talking about? Motherfuckers are out everywhere right now. Well, you know, like, she, technically. I mean, it's it's reaching that point where everyone's like, yeah, we don't give a shit. But uh, technically, the, the stay-at-home order is now effective until June 12th. Ah, all right, all right. So I don't know if you knew that. No, I did not. Now I do. Now I know I'll be staying at home till June 12. <laughs> <laughs> not doing shit. Not me. What? Not me. I'm going to be out traveling the country. You already have uh, been. So what's going to change? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, had, you were never on quarantine. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Somehow you got your pilot's license and we're driving them planes. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's been... Uh... Man, we, we dropped, uh, what was it, last Thursday, the COVID games. Oh, yeah. Sports may be, may be shut down for who knows how long. The Olympics canceled. But you when there's a will, there's a way. And right. plug if you in ain't, the COVID games. Right. And if you ain't seen the new episode we put up on Thursday, um, you're you missing out. out you definitely can like learn how to... Um, how to uh, hang out with your boys, your family, your people, you know what I'm saying, your girl, whatever the fuck. You know, we, we definitely teach you different techniques and tactics. Yeah. How to uh, still have fun amidst a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? That's true. This is true. Because I, I don't know about you, but I had lots of fun. I, it, was a, it was a good time. Uh, from picnics to, uh, what is it, t-ball, volleyball. volleyball. 
Yeah, I mean, football, was, which is my favorite sport. Hardcore, full contact sports done six feet away. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was cool, man. It was. It, um, well, what I liked about that is when we originally. Uh, all had the idea it was just going to be a little vlog kind of a little get together shoot something because we haven't done shot you know recorded since all this shit really went down and uh then you know when it gets to the editing room and all the footage is being going over we all kind of decided that you know what this this kind is an episode it's a full-length episode the editing room yeah the (laughs) aka 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 my bedroom Real, the real, some guy with like the fucking like glasses with the little glasses on top of them and shit. If we got frame stuff. by frame, they put it with in, in the little liquid shits and they close pin yeah, it up. Just running the film, <laughs> cutting it, and fucking taping it. The old editing room. A lot of stuff got left in the editing room floor. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, AKA my bedroom. Um, but. <laughs> But uh, anyways, it turned out dope. Uh, it seems like a lot of you guys, everyone that's been watching it, has been digging it. But uh, we decided to turn it into a full-length episode, spend a little more time on it. Um, and uh, it, it, it falls somewhere in the nether realms of season one and season two. It's its own little quarantine. Sp- it's quarantined away from season one and season two. There you go. Yeah, it's its own special quarantine episode. Mm-hmm. Hey, you never know, man. We might have another quarantine episode coming out. You know, <laughs> that's very true. We don't know. We don't no. know what the fuck is going on. I'm dying to get back out there and film, man. I know you are as I was, well. I was waiting until like uh, this week to see what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, still don't fucking know, man. <laughs> you know yeah. Suck. I, I was like, okay, next week they have a better grasp on what the fuck is popping. Now it's like you can gather with ten people, but you're still supposed to stay at the crib till the 15th. No, wherever the fuck, you know, it's, it's just weird, dog. It's like a, yeah. you know, make out of it. But who am I? What do I know? I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Damn, that was a good yawn. Yep, and I, I, I didn't even miss a beat talking. I, I, I couldn't understand the words, but I'm sure they were there. They were, they were um, beautiful words. <laughs> They're actually, actually, that was a poem I wrote. You missed it all. That was oh. like a poem to, like, bring um, your loved ones back to life. I have but to, if you uh... heard it, you like, been able to, like, you know, You'd have been in effect, but you're not. So, wow. you know. little by little, we're getting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, yeah. Like I said, um, I, I this this uh, podcast tonight. I don't know if it's gonna go like the full hour and a half too, like we have been doing. Yeah. Because, like I said, I've been outside and I'm tired of shit. Good thing it's ain't close up on my face because my eyes are blue out red. Like I've been smoking like fucking weed, you, uh- laser crack. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you um? Uh, were you like swimming today or something? Is that chlorine I, in the eyes? Yeah, yeah, I got chlorine eyes. Gotcha. But okay. I got that today for some reason, you know. But uh, gotcha. it's all good. I ain't sweating. It. No, that's a perfect day uh, uh, to go swimming in the pool. Yeah. I, so I went to Walmart to get an inflatable pool. Nice. Uh, I didn't blow it up. I just threw some hose water on it, and I just laid on the hot ass plastic. Sweet, almost like a small slip and slide. Yeah, just, it did. Um, it it so. got caught in between the crevices of that. Uh, it's the underroll between your back wing and your rib. Ah. Yeah, it got stuck in there, and uh, okay. Josh had to pull it out. Where the hose? The hose was still in there. <laughs> yeah, it's still running. It's still running. My backyard is flooded. Can you somewhere running? Yeah, it's still connected to me somehow. The hose is coming in the house, just running. I don't know where it's going into my body. Yo, but speaking of, of uh, uh, tired, I'm, I'm a little sore and tired myself. I, I talked to you a little bit this weekend. Um, I uh, did some, took it upon myself to do some home improvements. Uh, oh, that's right. I wish I could say by myself, but I had a very um, amazing crew, uh, a.k.a. I was low on funds, so I called my dad and my brother and, mm. uh, and Josh, and it was the, it was the four horsemen. Uh, replace my kitchen floor since the contractors uh, they bailed on me. So. Well, they, contractors usually bail when you stop paying them. So, you know, <laughs> that, that's how that whole game works, guy. But yeah. so, so get a hold of this because I haven't even told you this story yet, and this is this is a crazy ass story that that happened yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. So, I get done doing my floors. Um, I hadn't seen my big brother in a while. We were kicking it after, and then. Uh, we went up to the party store slash gas station when we were done. Um, 
He's like, yo, I'm going to get some gas right quick. I'm like, bet. So I'm scrolling on my Instagram, and uh, I hear my brother, who is now outside of the gas station. I'm at the furthest pump away, and I can see him out of my peripherals. And he's with about two other people, and he's yelling. And they're all yelling it at somebody down the street. I'm like, oh, maybe somebody forgot their change. Like, hey, buddy, you going to get your change, whatever. I couldn't hear what they were saying. So all of a sudden, I see all three of them start sprinting. They're going, they start running towards this guy. So I open up the door, just instinct, I'm flying after him. I f- and by flying, I mean running the best I can. So, so, we've seen the marathon. <laughs> so I finally catch up to him. And uh, at this point now, they've all uh, uh, accumulated a, n- a nice jog. It's not quite the full sprint. The other two people, they look at me. They're like, oh, that's cool. He's here. This guy's here. We're good to go. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? My brother is now chasing after somebody who I guess stole a bunch of shit out of the store. So, um, and, and the employees were running. I guess the lady that was that was working, running the counter, she was like, she was screaming, crying, asking people to help. Like, please, this guy's uh, about to take off with, with all this the shit. What did he steal? purse? What? <laughs> so, I had no idea at this point, right? So, I, he didn't either. So, we're going after this guy. Um, my brother's pretty fast. He's kind of the opposite of me. He's a little taller, very slender. Um, he's kind of in shape. Uh, so I'm just holding behind, you know, at a, at a nice distance. And we get up to the guy, and we're like, yo, man, I'm going to be very nice saying it, but we were saying some very uh, pretty outlandish things that I probably shouldn't repeat here on the podcast. But uh, uh, the guy turns around, and he hands us two full bottles of booze, 1800 and uh, uh, a big bottle of cognac. And so he hands them to my brother. And, and the guy's like, all right, guys, that's all I got, man. God bless. God bless. And uh, we hear the clinking in his chest. <laughs> like there's more glass. So we immediately like, come on, bro. Like, give it up. You're done. You know, like we're, we're walking next to this guy at this point. We're just all on a walk because we're all tired. So we're like, yo, just give us the rest of the shit. This guy goes to beeline it, and he fucking takes off around a corner. Now, he's he's gone. He quickly jets around the corner. My brother starts to chase after him, and, I like, my heart sank because I'm like, yo, this guy's going to turn the corner. That's when you pull out a gun. Or you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, or you're waiting with a bottle to smash someone as soon as you turn that corner. Um, so, you know, I'm, like, telling my brother, yo, like, chill, chill, and he's, he's not, not giving a fuck. So then immediately, of course, I have to go after him. So we turned the corner. The guy thought he was going to shake us loose. We're back at square one. We're all walking together. We're like, are we going to keep doing this all day, dude? You know, like, give us the shit. So um, he takes off one more time. My brother's like, hold these. He hands me the bottles of booze, and he's going to cut the guy off like he's going to tackle his ass. Um, Immediately pulls up, and I'm so glad he did. We get up to the guy. We're like, man, you're, you're done. It's over. At this point, now the police are coming from both sides. They had an SUV and a truck coming, and they kind of pinned us all on this uh, side street. Everybody's out on their porches watching this. Um, so they, somebody still on liquor? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, but, but get a hold of this. So this guy wasn't that big. He's probably, like, up to my shoulders. He was quick as a motherfucker, though. Um, uh, the, the cops get him on the ground, and they undo his... He was wearing a T-shirt vest. And he had six more full bottles of liquor. Oh, what the fuck is a t-shirt vest? It was, you know, like the he had a t-shirt and then just like the little vest, the little zip-up ones that go over the shoulders. I don't know oh, if I'm oh, describing okay. that right. Vest made out of t-shirts. Yeah, so a t-shirt and a vest. I should have said. Oh. I, uh, for for me getting winded in this hot room, I just combined the words. So that that was basically his uh, thieving vest. Yeah, but I was I was so blown away because. It, he had it like tucked in. I had no idea this guy's holding six more. So he had eight total. I'm holding two. He's got six. Um, anyways, so they uh, we, we had to, the the store end up wanting to press charges because I guess this is the third time it's happened in two weeks. And I flat out told the manager, I was like, "Yo, maybe you should switch up your display." You know, I'm just throwing that out there. If this seems to be a common theme here. (laughs) Don't put the liquor next to the door. They literally have it lined up. Anybody can touch it, and then you're right out the door. So um, they decided to press charges this time, so we had to give reports, which I've never had to do none of that shit. But, uh, yeah, it it was just crazy, man. Like, just a crazy predicament. She was, like, crying, like, thanking us, talking about she was going to lose her job. I'm like, well, hey, that's fucked up because 
that's not really your fault. You didn't really well, display hey, that shit. Like some real good Samaritan shit, but, and I'm got nothing bad to say about it. But I'd have never found myself in that position. That dude would have took off. I'd have been like, "Enjoy your drinks, homie." <laughs> you know, what I'm you know I, I was just like, "Fuck, man!" I, I all I seen was people or, running. I'm like, or, "Yo, that's I, my I, big brother." And my I, first instinct is like, "Someone's getting fucked up." You know, like now yeah, something's getting serious. You don't know the situation, of course. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Say so he pulled up those two bottles and handed it to me. I'd have been like. I ain't got my car in bonds. Yeah. <laughs> you keep those six. I'm going to keep these two. Peace. Good looking out. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I don't. Like I said, so, someone in there is like, uh, I just see someone in the comments is like, now nah, you're on paper as a narc. Look, I don't give it. I don't give a shit. What I did, I, I feel as a small business owner myself, um, I, I'm a okay with that because I, I was in that. I did some, some, some dirty shit and I did. I, we all did some scantless shit. I'm sure in our younger days, but, um, you, you, the the glass changes a little bit when, when you know, like I put myself in that guy's shoes, and I've had things stolen out of my business many a times, and it fucking sucks. So, um, but granted, I didn't know that at the time. I'm just seeing my brother chase after somebody, and I'm not gonna sit in the truck like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I absolutely a hundred percent. In hindsight, was it stupid? Yes, because you don't know if that guy had a fucking knife or a gun. Absolutely fucking stupid. But do I feel bad or regret anything? Absolutely fucking not. Oh, but right. I am glad my brother didn't tackle him because having all that glass right there, that'd have been fucked up, man. Yeah, but you know, breaking a, a, a fifth bottle isn't the easiest thing in the world. Tackling probably wouldn't have broke that shit. You gotta whip them yeah. hoes to the floor to break them. You know what I'm saying? Right. And well, I guess the head with a fucking liquor bottle. Holy yeah. shit! No one was no one was harmed. Everyone's all right. So it was pretty. It was pretty crazy. But uh, okay. We're off to a rip-roaring rip start. Adventures of a, a fucking vigilante over here. <laughs> yeah. I literally, I was, it, the whole time, I was like, yo, uh, now I got something to talk about on the podcast tomorrow. So, <laughs> you know. Something to talk about. I, I was going to lie and make the story a lot doper. Like, there was fucking eight people, and we were in the middle of a gunfight. And But I'm like, you know what? Well, see, uh, I, got, I got something that, that, like, led to some weirdness. But uh, it wasn't over the weekend. It was a couple days before the weekend, I think. It's done last week. Yeah, uh, and it had nothing to do with anybody stealing anything besides yeah. my emotions and my heart um, for the situation that happened. But no, seriously, it, I've never heard no shit like this. Yeah, in my whole fucking life, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> what, I just looked up. It, it's the fucking. I, I didn't read the whole thing, but what's somebody's like fucking big thing with fucking Fort and Junction? It's like still coming up. Oh yeah, what, what is it? What is that about? Know, it was the yellow one that just flicked past. Well, uh, anyhow, um, I just seen Fort and Junction in COVID. Right. Anyhow, um, <laughs> <laughs> so so like we're marinating in the crib, right? Mm -hmm. And like uh, it's dark out, you know what I'm saying? It's just it like, got dark, and um, just hear these fucking massive loud helicopters like right over the fucking house. You know what I'm saying? Like every 15 minutes, like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And like you could like make it out a little bit and shit like that because they were low enough. You know what I'm saying? And uh. So loud that there are military helicopters, you know what I'm saying? Like Apache. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is happening? You know what I'm saying? Shit popping off like that? <laughs> you know, yeah. the fuck, the fucking, we start battling with China or something? What the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Turns out there are helicopters because they were fucking um, evacuating people from Midland, Michigan because a damn. Oh, the flood. A dam broke in Midland, Michigan, which is yes. about like an hour and a half from here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But helicopter, that's like, what, like five, ten minutes, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? But um, and I, it drained the whole motherfucking lake. Yo, the lake is fucking gone. It's like a real lake. You know, like a big-ass lake that you'd be skiing on and boats be on and fucking houses be living on and <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? And somehow the whole fucking lake is just gone. I'm just like, what the fuck? So if you had a house on a lake, now you just got a it, house it. of sand and seaweed in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Fucking crazy. A whole lake's fucking gone. What the fuck? That tripped me out, man. You know, it's did, not did, did you see? Did you see the uh, the video of the dam someone recorded where I did. it was? It's it's a wall of grass. It just looks like like a hill, and all uh -huh. of a sudden the grass just blows out. I've never seen really? nothing like that, and then that well, was it, man. What's that? Who just sits there and tapes that shit? Hey, that, that's what I'm saying. Maybe, like I said, maybe it was like, obviously, the, I'm sure maybe the ground was, was fucking... The motherfucker was like, oh, something about to pop off. Dude, but yeah, that shit's was... crazy. Word up. Like, those fucking, they were evacuating, like, all fucking night. Yeah. 
I'm saying? Right over the crib, you know what I'm saying? I was like, what the fuck? Damn. You know, where the fuck they taking them to? But, uh, yeah, shit's crazy, man. Uh, seeing that footage of, like, no lake. I didn't know what it looked like with the lake there, but mm-hmm. it's obvious that there's just the missing fucking lake where it should be, you know? Man. That looks like any situation. I don't give a fuck who you are. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah that, that was my craziness that's happened since then. And I think that happened, like, middle of last week, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it was. It was uh, during. It, it actually happened, Josh, during our last podcast last oh, did week. It? Oh, yeah, just a week ago. Then, all right. It was actually our, our podcast was so fucking fire. It just started shaking the ground and dams and everything nearby. How, how far away are you from where that happened? Like I said, like an hour and a half drive. Hour and a half. I'm not here. You know See, what I'm saying? That's I, plenty enough for for cosmic waves and was, things to be sent yeah, via it YouTube. Was, it was like fucking uh. Like, after shockwaves, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. fucking, you know. But, yeah, all week dams get blown out around here, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. my, like, in my city, when they found out that, like, we were going to start, like, broadcasting this podcast, at least my portion from my house, like, they had to reinforce all the dams and shit around here. Yeah. Dude, it was nuts, man. You know what I'm saying? They had to, like, fucking, like, bolt down the fucking cell phone towers better, uh, fix up the dams, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Houses had to re-fucking, like, put the roofs back on harder. Because all that shit would just get blown right the fuck off, you know? Man, I, the insurance claims got to... That's got to be a treat. That's the whole thing, too. You can't claim insurance on your house from the roof get blown off from a podcast. It's just, they're just not going to fucking pay out for that, you know? They can't blow out a podcast. It should, it was, though. In the fine print... Off my house, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, oh, okay. In the fine print, uh, it might be in there. There might be a clause. There might. We don't know. We didn't see the uh, we didn't see the insurance claims. You know if you saying? guys ever want to purchase a podcast insurance, send us an email. Yeah, we'll cover you. Um, <laughs> well, well it would be like uh, you know you give us a hundred thousand dollars a month, and we got you covered like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, just roofs on your house though. So if the roof blows off, we'll buy you a new twenty thousand dollars. Not roof the job. windows, not the doors, not your fucking TV. Roof insurance. Yeah. Right. And it'll we'll get, be us that'll come and install your roof. We'll get a crew of guys I know to come do it for you. <laughs> yeah, and they basically they work for beer, so pretty it's, it's good good um good deal on my end at least. You know what I'm saying? So I get you hundred G's. Uh what well, usually cost me like twenty will cost me ten G's with these fucking drunkards fixing it. So yeah, um I'm I'm making out great. So go ahead and get that insurance from us. Yeah, absolutely. Please. Uh, uh cash, PayPal, whatever you want. We'll, we'll uh, take it. So, uh, uh, well, I know one of the things you're going to cover in your news, so I'll just cover the other one. Mm-hmm. About yesterday, because um, he actually dressed for the cage, but that's not what I'm covering. I'm covering another thing. I'll save the other one for your news. Okay. Because I know you got it in your news, right? I, fuck, now you got me nervous. Just well, go. Just a fucking outfit, guy. Go cover what you want to cover. I'll, I'll, I'll improvise. Oh, you'll adjust the news around it? Yes. <laughs> Well, obviously, this is one I was, was going to let you bring up in your news, but mm-hmm. the way you're fucking dressed right now, yesterday was uh, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers 20th uh, 20th year release or anniversary? 21st. 21st. Oh, 21st. I, I, was, I was like, wait a second. Mm-hmm. I was like, it didn't, it didn't come out in 2000. I could swore it came out in 99. 99. Yep. And I guess I was right. Yeah. Yep. So uh, um, I thought it was the 20th, but so it would be the 20th anniversary. Yeah, I, I was just I was calling it its twenty first birthday because I was like, "Yo, the brothers can go grab a beer." Well, the birthday is different than an anniversary because, like, or is it? No, first I'm thinking an annual. Annual, right, right, annual, right. Yep. A year back from like how many it actually yes. is. Yes. But, but anyway, I always get confused about that with the gathering and shit. It's like, yo, is this the fucking tenth gathering or tenth annual? Because there's a difference, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But uh, yeah, so I mean, that's shit. That's so fucking nuts, dog. We, we used to talk about that. It's like, fuck, it's like every year there's a new record going, like 20 years or some shit. It's like, all right, already. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but, well, uh, right, no. I understand. Fucking been around forever. Okay, I got you. All right. <laughs> For me, uh, as you guys know, we've talked about it many times on the podcast. Jekyll Brothers is like the, to me personally, that mm-hmm. is, is the album that really changed my life. And I mean that like, Sincerely, I'm th- this. I mean, that was an album that introduced me to all this. That that changed a lot of way that I think. The the people that I've met throughout my life to this point, to where I'm sitting and talking right now, um, that was the start of everything. So, um, always a, a fucking special place in my heart for it. So I was like, man, I wore this on the stream last night, so it's a little dirty right now. 
But um, well, sweaty, not dirty. Yeah, well, I sweated a lot because I, I, I didn't have an undershirt. I just I sweated right through the jersey. Um, you did the old Mario Maker last night. Yeah, I even I no bullshit. So as I was uh uh fixing my house up this this weekend, I was going through some older boxes. And I found uh, some shit I, I totally forgot that I had. These shorts, I, I'm decked out, bro. This, look at these. These are old school. Oh, damn. <clears throat> they don't even fit right anymore. I bought these when I was they like. Sure I remember like basketball shorts too. Yeah, huh? 18 years damn, old or some shit. Fuck out, guy. It's, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is this is perfect. Perfect timing for me to go through my shit. Yeah. And like, you, even with the shorts, like you had to stand up the shorts, but you were repping them anyhow. I was Exactly. You know, it's crazy, too, because the Amazing Jekyll Brothers, like, a lot of people kind of consider that our sophomore record. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. uh, Great Malenko was our first, like, record outside of Detroit. Right. Oh, technically, no. It was Riddle Box. But, you know, that, that actually made, like, real noise was uh, Great Malenko. So a lot of people consider Jekyll Brothers our second record. You know what I'm saying? Which is yeah. crazy. We had been in the game <laughs> for fucking 10 years. By I was going to say a decade at that point, yeah. Right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? At least selling records, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, that, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, even so, 21 years ago for fucking, god damn, that's, you yeah. know, time flies, man. All you youngsters out there watching, just remember what your parents told you was right. The older you get, the quicker time goes. <laughs> it is, it's it's a science-proven fact. There you go. Not science fiction. Yeah. Science fact. Also, though, yesterday... In other news, um, I made an appearance on uh, Esham's uh, Instagram show, Bluntly Speaking, yesterday. Yep. Pretty fucking cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I've known, uh, I, don't, I don't know if he rebroadcasts him or how he does it. You know what I'm saying? But if, uh, if you are able to check it out, you should keep it out. It's pretty cool. That, see, uh, yeah, that, that was the one uh, I actually had my news too. Uh, I was going to say, because I, I think he still has it on his Instagram. It might be on his Instagram uh, stories. Um. Or you might, I think he's got it like it, like if you go to his profile and like look at all his old posts or whatever, mm -hmm. I think it's one of those. Yeah, he might have it archived. I did see somebody uh, uh, ripped it anyways and already uploaded it to YouTube. Yeah, so. I'm sure he would have, but it's out there. Yeah, it was pretty cool though, you know, because I, I know, like, so I, we touched on it on that interview too, but like, like I've known him since I was a teenager, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, when he said it, he was like, yeah, it's been like 30 years. I'm like, God damn, you're right. It's been like 30 motherfucking years. Yeah. Because we know that's fucking nuts. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Once again, it's fucking time thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, yeah it was cool, man. He asked me a couple questions that, you know, I never get asked and shit. So, I mean, mm. you know, if, if you if you got time, check that out. It's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, go ahead to Esham's uh, Instagram, follow him on his Facebook, however the fuck you do all that. You know yeah, what I'm that, saying? Yeah, that's a new uh, series he's doing, right? It's called The, the Bluntly Speaking. Yeah, it's like, Bluntly Speaking. I think I, it was like episode eight or something I was on. Oh, like hell that. yeah. Sit, like that. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely cool, man. I, I felt kind of, uh, I felt, um, I felt blessed that he asked me to do it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, it was cool that I was in in uh, his sights for doing that shit. You know, that's what I'm saying. We just now we got to work, and he's got to come on our show now. Yeah, some you know, you know what I'm saying? and we we'll our... ask him the tough questions. We'll put him in the hot seat. Right? Yeah, I'll ask the same exact questions he asked me <laughs> in the same form. Be like, so, <laughs> how did you get your name? <laughs> I'll be like Esham. Uh, every time I, I bring up his name, I call him Esham. Esham. Like, I don't know. Esham. How did you get your name, Esham? <laughs> was it Vince from Sham Wild that actually? I was fucking up. Um, yeah, but speaking of, uh, we were just talking about Mario Maker and all that shit. Mm -hmm. um, last Friday was pretty cool on Twitch, man. Mm -hmm. it, it was uh, Lucha Ronin hosted a Fortnite night on our Twitch channel. I didn't actually play uh, video games this time. I just sat back and was on Team uh, Lucha Ronin, just uh, uh, cheerleading, I guess, and uh, commentating. Yeah, but yeah, it was pretty dope, man. It was uh, that was a fucking wild ass night, man. That was a yeah, lot of fun. Jay, um, uh, Jay, so JJ ended up joining our team. You know what I'm saying? That boy is fucking scantless at that game, man. Uh, he was doing all kinds of crazy shit, man. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna throw my jacket on now because we've already covered three of my news bullet points. <laughs> <laughs> well, you fucking sucks. It just basically is everything that we talk about anyhow. So, babe, if you do the news first, show's over. <laughs> I'm just, 
Uh, don't mind me, guys. Just get the news. Of the news. Oh, I don't think it's I fucking fixed the sleeve. Going on. I guess that's the news. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is also. Uh, you need to come up with a newer segment, man. The news is. <laughs> that's just the whole. This whole fucking program is a goddamn news. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna work on it because now, hold on. this you seems to be happening time. more and more. Since last week, you ever took the time to turn the fucking sleeves inside no. out? Just took it off and said, fuck it, next team. <laughs> I <laughs> right straight out. up threw it backwards and it's just been chilling there. All right. I'm, oh, we already got the graphic up? Fuck. Oh, it's okay. I'm Keegan the Creep and this is the news. All right. All right. <laughs> so just a quick recap. Yes, last <laughs> Friday on Twitch, as you may have just heard, we had a phenomenal night. It may be, uh, it's the first time in history, I would, well, and I, maybe, I should have asked you before I did this, but uh, that, that the next generation got together on the same stream and played video games together. And not even purposely. Not, no, it just happened like that. It just fucking happened, that was crazy. It, it, it brought everything together, and then to make it even better, we went undefeated the whole night. Yeah, that's yeah. incredible. There was a there was a few um, crouching meetings. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot lot of bros being thrown around. Yeah, uh, um, I must have heard Keegan's name like forty two fucking million times. Uh, hey Keegan, hey Keegan, Keegan, hey Keegan. Uh, but all in all, yeah, I mean, uh, you guys were a shot, man. It was cool. I uh, we <laughs> also did get get shampoos, and I appreciate you throwing me in the hot seat on Twitch when um, Lucha Ronan decided to he uh, abruptly wanted to play minecraft um <laughs> <laughs> yeah he just switched his gears also he's like why don't we just play minecraft now and like, you're like nope. well why don't we just ask keegan <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know if you know this but recently with a five-year-old is that too cool to do it doesn't really like work out too good yeah. so you just got past the heat you know what i'm saying i got uh, a <laughs> I got, I got thrown I got to the wolves game. on that one, but we are gonna we are gonna schedule a Minecraft night with Lucha Ronan. Um, that no, that's a night I'm looking forward to because I actually bought that I, game. I have no idea how it works. I have been yet to figure it out, but it seems like it. That's like kids know that game like it's the well, back you know, of their hand. Okay, so I, I was watching Lucha Ronan play a, a fucking Fortnite, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously he didn't know what the fuck he was doing, but he thought he did. You know, like little kids do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's talking about, like, fucking some sniper rifle, but he's got a pistol, whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I will give him one million percent. He actually does know how to play Minecraft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. put me up my game. I'm like, what the fuck? How do you know what fucking smelting iron means? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck you're saying. So he actually does. He, he knows how to play Minecraft. Good, I don't know. But he, I know he knows how to play it. At least, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He so already knows more than me because I have. But, but like I was saying, I might not even, like, be with him when he does that shit. I just want to yeah. just have to go on there and do that shit. Mm -hmm. Just be off camera with a cattle prod when he fucks up, just hitting him with it. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, go ahead with the news. My bad. No, it's all good. Um, so that leads us to this Friday on Twitch. We're gonna be streaming a new game, a, a, a new game of a old classic, should I say? Uh, it's 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 a classic, but. Um, I was looking at the one that we're going to be playing, and it's the 2020 edition. It's like they redid all the characters and the graphics and everything. This one is the 2020 edition. Yeah, yeah, they just that that's new. Like that ain't the one you you used to play in the arcade. This one is it isn't with all the Japanese writing. It's not even no American on it. But but you know what I'm saying? Like that's not the what was a 1942 one that you were playing. It looks like all the same characters and shit, though. But but it's it's a it's a more modern. They they remade it. They probably just up the graphics. Same shit. All right. But either way, I've never played it. I to be honest, I never even heard of it before you started talking about it. It's, it's, it's not the biggest game. It never made it to Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat level. That's yeah. for sure. You know what I'm it, you had to be like a underground arcade video game ninja to know about it. You know. Yeah. And th That's this is played. You know what I'm saying? It's uh it's Samurai Showdown, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to be... Uh, I'm not looking forward to this one because I already fucking took hot L's on, on Street Fighter. Um, All right, look, man, I'm just going to tell you now, 
that it's going to be worse for you than Street Fighter was. Because you know how to play Street Fighter a little bit. Like, at least you know the characters and the moves some. Yeah. yeah this, um, this you're, you're going to get stomped out. Okay. Uh, I think it's also pull backwards and block, too, so you don't have to worry about <laughs> Great. it. Great. I uh yeah will not be I ne I never block in fighting games I just get close and just try to punch you more than you punch me, um, but I noticed I I think I might have a decent advantage because when you held that up to the camera I noticed it was still shrink wrapped, yeah so you clearly haven't opened it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I've been, I've been playing this religiously. <laughs> Damn you and your observant observant skills. Yeah, it's so I definitely it yet. maybe I, actually, I have a I'm chance. Probably, yeah, I'm, all, I'm all like, yeah, maybe I will play this one beforehand, but I probably won't. Yeah, because you want to know, I don't even think about playing video games whatsoever until about like like seven o'clock on Friday. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know something crazy about these fucking video games, though? What switch video games? Uh, insane. I read this shit and then it fucking happened. My wife bugged out, but I knew it was up, so I didn't bug out. Did, did you lick it? They make these taste like shit. Horrible. All of a sudden, my fucking son is bugging, running around the house like fucking nuts. Like, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? He put the thing in his mouth, and he's swallowing it. I'm like, they make them taste like shit, so kids don't do that. <laughs> now I got to try it, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... So you ain't supposed to lick these. No, right? the, yeah, they put some kind of chemical. It's a safe chemical, but it stays bad. <laughs> No way. Get the other side, too. You're licking the metal prongs. I don't know if that's... No, I'm licking the top of the plastic. Oh. Stick... Yeah, I taste... The... Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Ooh. And now you got COVID. Yeah, that's what they put on <laughs> It's, I don't think I've been bugging out like Ronan was. It's not that bad, but yeah, it's pretty nasty. Well, hold but on. That, I, I know, it's only fair that I try it too. Oh, shit. You got one chilling? I've always heard of it. I just never, I was like, I'm not going to lick my game card. That's stupid. So well, yeah, now, very stupid. why not do it in front of a live audience? So I got to know what it tastes like. I'm going to go. Somebody said I, my flavor of choice is going to be Mario Kart 8. All right. Somebody says that saliva unlocks cheat codes. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. That's a damn game we're playing this weekend. All right. Gotta get the licking. All right, here we go. Mario Kart 8 looks delicious. You did the front and the back, right? Yeah, I did it both sides. I did the back, then the front. The water kind of spreads it around, too. It's not, like, overbearing me nasty, but if you're a little kid, you'd be like, yo, fuck this. Whoa, that's weird. What is that? Yeah. Weird chemical taste, right? It, it almost like it feels like it's about to sting you. It's like nothing I've felt before. That's fucking weird. And now, I, wow. All right. Well, we just licked Nintendo Switch cartridges on the podcast. Next, we'll be licking nine volt batteries. For all of our audio listeners that catch us on iHeartRadio and Apple and Google and things like that, uh, you may not have seen, but we just placed Nintendo Switch cartridges. Uh, cartridges. Cartridges on our tongues. The old Nintendo couches. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so uh, if you guys got one at home and you want to try it, fucking go for it, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you've never heard of that uh, crazy wife's tale, it's not a wife's tale. Real shit. Someone asked, does it you... taste like ass? Nope. It tastes like chemicals. Well, here goes a new prank challenge. When your homie's like passed out with his mouth open, drop a fucking cartridge in his mouth. <laughs> there you go. Fuck his ass up. <laughs> okay. Or broad, whatever the fuck. <clears throat> Oh, all right. Um, we got we got anything, any shots or anything? Wait, what were you used to doing the news, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna we actually have a lot of chats we got to catch up on. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. You know what? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna finish our final news segment of the day, so I can hurry up and remove this jacket because I think I'm gonna have a heat stroke. So our you know, final. You they news do that, topic they call, like air conditioning in central air for houses nowadays you know well we, we don't use that here we uh ah. we, we blow on each other <sighs> like that um yeah you probably shouldn't say shit like that <laughs> <laughs> go ahead my bad 
<laughs> All right. Final piece of news. <laughs> As you guys may know, normally here at the Shaggy and the Creep Show, when we drop an episode, there's exclusives that come along with it. Maybe you catch the little ad at the end of it. Maybe you go straight to the website. Maybe a friend tells you. Maybe you get notified. Some way or another, it happens. And then you may have watched this episode and you said, well, where the hell is it? Where's the exclusives for this week? Well, we're here to tell you they're here and they're available now. And it's because there's a ton of shit that we wanted to drop alongside with it. We have, first up, it is the Wizard Limited Exclusive T-shirt drawn by Shaggy 2 Dope himself, where Uh-oh. you can see he is a, a beautiful aged wizard. With, I love your fucking shoes. <laughs> your shoes. <laughs> They're wizard shoes, man. <laughs> it's kind of shoes wizard be rocking. <laughs> You know, I, I wouldn't think when I'm really rocking a pair of those. I absolutely love the shoes. And on the back of each shirt comes with the character's stats. As you may know from the episode, uh, Shaggy is a level 19 wizard. Um, <laughs> his weapon of choice, a wizard staff, and his skill, he has plus five mana. I'm still tasting that fucking Nintendo cartridge in my mouth. See? That shit is no fucking hope. Are you still tasting it? No. But yeah, I drink- I, I'm definitely still tasting it. But, but, I mean, I was a couple minutes ago. Yeah, it, it's, okay. it's still there a little bit. He's All right. Probably going to He's probably had the urgent care now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Next up, we <laughs> have uh, the King and the Creep Orc limited t-shirt. Look at that. Look at look at me as an orc. The, the belly was drawn to scale <laughs> for this. Also drawn by Shaggy 2 Dope. Because you guys have seen my drawings, and you know that definitely didn't come out of my hand. Well, um, I mean... Your drawings made it to a shirt, guy. Yeah, they did. They did. That chicken yeah. scratch did make it. Um, yes. The creep is a level 13 orc. Doesn't have quite the experience as uh, no. as Shaggy the Wizard. Uh, his weapon of choice, just like any true orc, is a wooden club. And my skill, yeah. or his skill, <laughs> I should say, is plus seven strength. Why seven? Because that's King and the Creep's favorite number. And I felt that that was appropriate. Not to be confused with your lucky number of 13. That's why do you think I'm a level 13? Oh. Now you put them together, big guy. You cracked the code. <laughs> not, not to be undone. Oh, uh, it is followed by these socks are fucking dope. I don't give a fuck what anybody Yo, says. Those socks. Them so- I-, I love the fucking uh, <laughs> scenic background. Yes, I'm saying. The Lord That's... of the Rings background. <laughs> <laughs> they will be uh, full sublimated socks there um, on, on one foot is the wizard. One foot is the orc. Which foot gets which character? That's for you to decide. We're not here to tell you how to wear your fucking socks. Yeah. They're the incredible. Right. Who the fuck are we, you know? They're we hand-stitched tell- by a real wizard. That's right. And then a wizard a sweatshop in uh, Wuhan, China, as a matter of fact. Straight from Wuhan. And then beaten to right. shit by a real orc so they can fit it in the very small packaging that you will be receiving them in. <laughs> they pull up about as small as a Tic Tac uh, <laughs> yes. container. Up next, if you know, me and uh, Shaggy are very big fans of our tumblers. We use them every live stream that we have now. Oh, yes, yes. I don't just use, I don't just use them on every live stream. I always use them. Did, did you have one next to you by the pool today? I did. Mm. I had uh, actually the same one you're drinking out of right now. Devil's Dick Hole Gritty Granny? Yeah. Okay. Um, we are dropping a new uh, characters. Both of the characters will be f- featured on the same cup, uh, same tumbler. Uh, so you can put ice, you can tumble things in it, and then sip out of it as well. You can expect to see those in you're our good. hands very soon. Draw your clothes in it if you want. Absolutely, you, you can fucking roll them up real small, put them in there, and shake the shit out of them. Tumble dry. We also have uh, a few different stickers, uh, orc and wizard stickers in different sizes, depending on what size sticker you want. Yeah, you could be a you silly you could goose, be a foot big sticker person. You could be <laughs> an only inch tall sticker person. You could be somewhere in the middle type sticker person. But the bottom line is, if you enjoy stickers, we fucking got you covered, man. That we do. Yes. Um, so the uh, the t-shirts will be available for uh, one week only. 
Um, oh, we also have, I forgot, the COVID Games Limited Wrap Canvases. That's right. These are super fresh. These look great above your, your headboard. Uh, they look great in your garage, buried they under boxes. Great. They look great in your grandma's living room right next to Jesus. <laughs> they, they, you know what I'm saying? They look awesome. Anywhere you want to put it, right next to the Last Supper <laughs> in your grandma's den. They look fucking great anywhere. Oh, <laughs> And uh, I forgot, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot See, as well. Just, yeah. They've been sold out for a minute, but they are back in stock and they're back with a vengeance here. I'm talking about our, if we can pull them up. There we go. Our hats. Yeah. Hats are this back, is, Jack. And you're going to want that snap back. Matter. Make you the happiest guy ever, I'd imagine. You know, I fucking love my hats. I'm a hat so fanatic. If you wear hats, you should be bald, but you got, like, the thickest hair on, on the fucking planet. It's, it's like fucking, um, like a wire brush bristles. Right. And somehow, like, people that wear hats as much as you usually are bald or yeah. going bald. Perpetrate like they're not with a hat. But <laughs> I, somehow, you're covering up the fact that you got mad hair. I, I, I literally just had this conversation with somebody two days ago. They said the uh, exact same shit. I, I don't understand it, um, but I'm not going to complain. I actually, yeah, thick hair, it's, uh, it can be, it, it, you know, can be a, a bad thing once in a while. It gets very hot in the summertime. I got the burden of thick hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is the burden that I carry. Thick but, uh, hair. <laughs> I wouldn't curse it on my worst enemy. <laughs> but that is all the fresh right, new merch. This is all motherfuckers watch this right now that want to fucking choke Just, your neck. I know. Up. Hey, I know. Um, that is the news, and that is the fresh new merch available now. Not tomorrow. Not whenever. Available now. Right? The fuck? This no. instant. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that thing is toasty. Um, all right. I see something very interesting um, that somebody had said. Actually, a couple of people actually said this. Um, I can't remember where I read it. It was either on Instagram or on uh, YouTube comments or something. Mm -hmm. That uh, it said that I should get a COVID mask with like my paint where it should be on the mask, so I can just rock the mask and just look normal. That you know would be saying? genius as fuck. Right? Isn't that a fresh ass idea? I'm gonna have to fucking do that now. You know what I'm saying? That's incredible. Right. I, uh, well, there's nothing really special you could do with my mask on that, so. Well, I mean, you could, I'm just uh, going to have the normal blue you, hospital boy. Put the beard on the bottom with it leading up to the lip right there. I don't know. Have the part of the strap. Wear some over your eyes with your eyebrows on. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, you just got a lame, stupid face. I, I mean, there's nothing you can really do with it. <laughs> I All do. Right, well, I fucking do. I, li I like your face. I think you're very handsome. I, you know what? I appreciate that. I'm going to make sure that that clip gets taken out. And um, I always have that on my for my bad days. I'm just going to replay there that little go. clip. Let's put it on all your social media. I just think you're very handsome. <laughs> um, you know what? I, I mean, fuck it. Since you did the news, I'm going to do my fucking Shaggy's Sizzling Super Hot. <laughs> what the fuck is it called? Shaggy's. Super sizzling hot spot. We'll just Sh call it sizzling hot spots because that's what the graphics gonna have on it. Sizzling, just no super in there. Shaggy yeah. sizzling hot. Spot. Yep, shaggy so, shag sizzling hot super, spots. Super, super hot sizzling, super sizzling hot spots. There definitely was a super in there somehow. I know that. And they got. And took off without my knowledge. Well, when so, I get yeah. back to the editing room, I'll talk to our uh, our plethora of editors. And see what the hell is going on with that super. Yeah, you might want to get to that editing room ASAP as soon as this episode's over. You know, probably like a sound editing room too, the sound suite. You probably want to get to that too, just to make sure you know. I'm gonna do my normal rounds. Right. So. Just to make sure everything is good. Yeah. <laughs> this is you know just to make sure that that uh, I say super correctly. Anyhow, um, so this week, uh, sadly, sadly. I was informed moments before we went on <laughs> that my fucking super sizzling hot spot that was a shaggy super sizzling hot spot. <laughs> Look, I did when I wasn't thinking about it, it just flew right off the tongue, man. So anyhow, um, 
yeah, it's not in business no more. <laughs> it's a different restaurant now. It's not even the same kind of restaurant, from what I understand. Well, anyhow, <laughs> but my, my fucking, my, my super sizzling hot spots aren't getting over too well, are they? The first one did good. The rest of them are just kind of like a crapshoot. All right. Uh, so it was called Rudy's, and it was a Mexican joint uh, restaurant in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, there's like a bunch of canals that come off like Lake Michigan that are like downtown Milwaukee or whatever the fuck. And it was on one of those canals. I don't remember. I don't know what the fuck the uh, the uh, fucking crossroads or the streets or nothing. I don't fucking live in Milwaukee. What do you want from me? It's not even fucking open no more. What does it matter? <laughs> the one best thing about this place, not only were there enchiladas pure heaven in your mouth, but... And not too many fucking Mexican restaurants have this around no more. I don't fucking know why. When I was younger, all over the place they had this shit. But Rudy's in Milwaukee, which doesn't exist no more, was known for this. <laughs> <laughs> you all right over there? Shit. It was just a little scratchy throat. There was okay. no real fucking phlegm behind that. <laughs> okay. As you can tell. <laughs> Actually, no <laughs> but uh, mole, man. You ever have fucking Mexican snacks with mole on it? I, I have not. Do you know what mole is? Nope. Like guacamole? No. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be like guacamole. And I wouldn't say mole. I'd say guacamole. I'm not one of those guys. I'm not Alex Trebek who fucking like puts the fucking What is mole? Stank on all the fucking words. You know what I'm saying? What is mole? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm not that guy. <laughs> I say quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that retarded. But no, mole, is, it's, a, it's a sauce, and it's like a chocolate-based sauce, but so much is phenomenal on fucking just normal snacks. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know what the deal is with mole. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it on snacks or whatever, but they yeah. fucking had it there, and God damn it, it was fucking delicious, especially on their award-winning, in my book, uh, fucking, case, or fucking enchiladas. Why do I point <laughs> in my face so much? I'm always like this. Or like, I'm like an old kung fu movie. Who, me? But um, yeah, so... um. If you're ever in Milwaukee, I just, and you, are you talking? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We had to, we had to fix oh. something real quick. Yeah, your mouth was moving. I, I was, was uh, I was intercoming to the, uh, to the uh, editing sound room. Sweet. Yeah, to sound suite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, to our, to our sound crew, the one outside in the van, right? That's broadcasting this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, your, uh, your hot spots, so- your hot spots were so sizzling that I was listening to you talk. And I start seeing the comments. They're like, "Keegan's gone. Keegan's gone." <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I'm currently gone. I, I don't know if people can hear me. They can hear me, right? Can they hear me? Yeah. Okay, they, they can hear me. That's fine. So, um, I was just trying to see if there was any audio issues with that, but um, I will be back momentarily. It was just that hot spot was so damn hot. Can I can I wrap up my hot spot? Uh review here take as long as you want we're, we're gonna need you to stall for us for a second so please g- give your wholehearted review well i was about to wrap it up but now that you're saying that i gotta drag it out i mean yeah it can, give us another know, 22 minutes they had some very good taquitos as well i'm a taquito guy i love me some taquitos and enchiladas and bur- I, I, I love me some mexican snacks um rudy's was definitely a spot oh and they had a very courteous and nice staff um and they were fucking very, very generous with the chips. You know, like a lot of times you run out, these motherfuckers don't want to come back and give you chips until right before your food comes in because they know you're going to be like, no, I'm straight because I'm about to eat my food. <laughs> no, they kept coming with the fucking chips. Hot and greasy. Like buckets you know full. Saying? Hot and greasy as shit. And you just pour some salt on it and you dip it in the fucking uh, in the salsa puree. Yeah. You know, not just the normal chunky salsa, but it's pureed the fuck up, tasting <laughs> extra good. Now, look. Everything I said, mouth-watering, fertilizing <laughs> food, all this. If you're ever in Milwaukee and you're by downtown, forget about it because it's fucking shut. You can't have it. What the fuck? Ask Josh. What is the place called now? Some fucking place. He said, what's the place called now? No, no, no. Vagabonds. Vagabonds. It's now called Vagabonds. <laughs> some fucking homeless asshole that just wanders around. A fucking vagabond. No, it was a fucking trump tight. So what hold on, can, 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 can fucking beans like a fucking hobo? Can, can, <laughs> can, Depot, hold on. fucking vagabonds. Hold on. Can, 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 can I just ask? 
fire in the back. To, to make sure that I get everything right here. Last week, you didn't remember the name of the restaurant or where no, it was no, no. at. Last week, I didn't give one because we were in nuggets. And this week, we go <laughs> with a restaurant that doesn't exist anymore. Check it out, though. Okay, let's look at this track. Four weeks now I've been doing this. This is the fourth week. Week number one went beautiful. The fucking, the fucking, uh, what do you call it? The fucking pilot took off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Worked beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Stand on its own legs. Could have been its own fucking show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Beautiful. Um, second week, yeah, I didn't know the name of the place. And um, I didn't know the city it was in. <laughs> or, or what the building looked like. Or what the rest of their menu was. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. No, this is week five, motherfucker. Because the second one was a grilled cheese stand. Yeah, yeah. Why am I mad at you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you're screaming right now. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, so week three was one I didn't know. <laughs> and then last week, uh, I didn't bother with it. Oh, no, la last week we just talked about Wendy's, right? We just stuffing our fucking faces with the fucking spicy nuggets. Um, which, by the way, you didn't finish. I, I, we're aware of that. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm never going to let you forget it until I see you eat 50 chicken nuggets. That's fair. Some, somehow... I did it, and fucking, I walked away, man. I told the story on Twitch. I didn't tell. A, a, now this is what happened. It was that plus five mana. Yeah, well, I'm not. That, that wasn't my. I'm not. Wasn't in my wizard character. Um, eating the nuggets. So, <laughs> I was in my fucking um. Uh, that fucking Japanese guy from the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Competition character. And, I know uh, what you're uh, talking about. Uh, fucking yeah. So. 850 Nuggets, you know what I'm saying? You didn't. Okay, we got that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Finished up the show. Um, everything was good. You know, I was just like, Ugh. matter of fact, look at a fucking standby puke bucket still chilling, <laughs> which I didn't use. So anyhow, already done, you know, shutting the house down, about to lay down in bed, watch some TV. All of a sudden, it's like, yo, there's some dog shit on the floor. Your dog shit on the floor. It's like, fuck. You know, you couldn't have went outside and did that dog. So anyhow... Um, Which so dog was it? Do, do you know by the scent? I knew by the size. It was my dog, Kogo. <laughs> All the other dogs have real small shits. She has big shits. <laughs> and it's always all fucking extra stank and nasty because she's, like, not a full dog. So it's very un coco like No, it was to her to a team. No, I mean, like, Coco as in... It, coco is a sweet, chocolatey... No, it looked just like it. <laughs> you don't want to get up on it and smell it like chocolate, though. But, uh, yeah, so basically, like, um, right when I bent down to grab it, it beat the shit out of the inside of my nose, and they just set off a chain reaction instantly. And them nuggets were like, fuck your stomach, guy. We're, we're, we're trying to see the day of light again. And they just came back up. Good thing I was able to make it to the garbage. And I lowered it a little bit. And then, like, you know, when you're puking, your tongue sweats like a motherfucker. Your mouth gets all wet on the inside. Yeah. So that started to happen again. So I was like, fuck this. I ran to the bathroom real quick. And then I puked out about another pound of fucking chicken nuggets. Then I was cool. <laughs> then I just felt like total shit the next day. Like I had to take a shit all day, but I, I, I didn't shit. It was weird. Well, that's, I, that's like, where we went our separate ways. Because I but, shit like a motherfucker in the, in the morning, though. Just in the morning. Well, was, I mean... You didn't eat 50, so... It was a still a 39 nugget poop. 39 nugget poop? Yeah. Yeah, that's decent shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's how you, like, that's like the hotness scale or like, you know, the BTUs or whatever for like the light, you know, say a horsepower. That's how you judge your shits. So yeah. Like a, 30, a good 39 nugget shit right there. <laughs> I only had a 15 nugget shit. <laughs> this guy, you won't believe it. He had a 250 nugget shit. <laughs> That's how you get shits. Oh, fuck. But yeah, so he so uh, on Rudy's. But, you know, I'm up on down to this close. Uh, but unlike uh, anybody listening or watching, um, once you've been there before, you'll never get to experience the deliciousness of Rudy's like I have. And uh, at least I get to cherish the memories that I had there, and, um, you know, so, but, you know, if you're from Milwaukee, you might have ate it before, and you can chime in all you like, and tell us how delicious it was, <laughs> you know, next time I need to check and see if these fucking places are still open, because I, yeah. I have been there probably in a good 10 years, <laughs> but, uh, 
You know that was some good food if you're remembering it 10 years from now. Yeah. We're um, real quick. We're gonna reconnect you because uh, Skype's doing that thing it loves to do with you. All right. We didn't even wait for his rebuttal. <laughs> we just went straight into it. We're getting him back on the line. Yeah. Dixie Cup of Doom. Uh, I th uh, yeah, but it should be good. We're just going to get your audio plugged back in. It froze at the best possible time. Your face is incredible. It looks like you fell asleep. The The image, like, when, when it hangs up, it freezes. Let's try it one more time. We're, we're going to try it one more time because the, the picture didn't catch up with you. And it looks like you're sleeping. All right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Right. It's yeah. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Right now, it still looks like you're sleeping, but we're, no worries. We can hear you. We can hear you loud and clear. Yeah. I'm gonna see. Can we maybe take that off? Would that help it? Yeah. You see it, right? The. F <laughs> Yeah. Is it catching up? Oh, I want to see. They, okay, hold on. Uh, we're 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 gonna fix it. I guess apparently we, now we can't hear you at all. So we're gonna we're gonna get this right, guys. We're gonna get this right. You bear with us, okay? Skype likes to do the tin can thing. We call it tin. We call it tin can Sam. But we're gonna get this up and running, and then as soon as we do, I'm going to go through some of the chats here. I know we had a, a lot of them queued up. We're gonna get this on and popping. See, sleeping or pooping, both. You can sleep poop. That is a, a real thing. I've done it. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna scroll this up here. They said we we don't call it that. Tin can Sam. Ugh. All right, fingers crossed. Yo yo. I can hear you. We're gonna see if if you can be heard on the other end. Let's see here. What is it? Yeah, give me, um, you know, how about this? What if we, can we at least put them on a phone so we can hear them? Well, you should, that week? What's that? I said it's coming down to me calling on a phone? No, 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 no. I, I, I want you on Skype now, but I'm going to put you under my mic until we figure, because I don't know what's going on with Skype right now. Uh. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if they can hear you yet. If you okay. guys are in the chat. All right. Yep. Yeah, they hear you. Uh -huh. They hear you. Says there it is. <laughs> there he is. They can hear me, man. Okay. It's your turn to be a ghost. Hey, I was gone what? for a little bit. What, what the fuck are you talking about? When you were doing your segment, my, my face wasn't on uh, the screen. Yeah. But and I had to talk as a ghost. So now it's your turn to be the ghost. Well, whatever, man. Um, <laughs> fuck, what was I saying? I'll see. Oh, you know what? Ironically enough, I'm telling you. It's never fucking the fault uh, uh, on my end. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Same shit. I swear to God, man, I came to this conclusion yesterday. Mm -hmm. When I was doing the shit with Isham, his shit kept fucking up. You know what I'm saying? It kept, like, freezing up and shit. And I'd keep, like, recontacting him and shit. Oh, and, uh, during the Instagram and live? Nothing to, my shit. nothing to do with my shit. Yeah. Because I'm so fucking live. <laughs> I'm so hot. That fucking motherfucking shit be overheating when I'm on their shit. You know? <laughs> I'm broadcasting through your fucking uh your fucking Skype or whatever the fuck. Overheating your shit, dog. It's, it's so fucking nice. Well, the good thing is is everybody can hear you. Um, All right. 
Uh, you know what's crazy? Listen. Yo. Um, well, hold on. I'm going I'm to connect this with something else I'm about to say. Okay. But uh, so, so yeah, you know, I, 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 I know and I've come to 100% realize because I'm not blind right. that I'm a fat fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I got a big bulbous belly. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I have one myself. But, uh, I, yeah, but you've always had it. Hey, um, hey, hey, hey. And motherfuckers love busting on me for it, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the crazy part. But check it out. No more. I'm done with it, man. What? I'm done with it. It's just from being fucking lazy and being uh, fucking eating snacks. So you know what I did? I said, fuck it. I'm just uh, going to. I'm going to start eating less portions for mm-hmm. my snacks. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And even with 50 fucking nugget, 50 nuggets uh, one week ago today, lost eight pounds, man. Eight, eight pounds? You're down eight pounds? From 222 to 214 this morning, I weighed myself. Holy shit. I'm, I'm, two, yeah. I'm 237. Weighed myself yesterday. Yeah. Well, check it out, man. Uh, if I don't lose it, I'm not sweating it. Right. But I'm going to lose it, though. You know what I'm saying? Just for the fuck of it. Just because uh, I look weird with a belly. I'm not used to it. You know what I'm saying? I I, I ain't mad at myself. I, I like my belly. You know what I'm saying? Right. But time for it to go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be mad old with a big fat ass belly because you'll fucking die super early. That's true. And, and I'm out here dodging the fucking COVID. I was thinking, man, okay. maybe we should uh, maybe we should do... Fuck COVID over here. What? Dodging the fuck COVID. I, I don't gotta. You know t- I don't gotta tell you nothing. But uh, Giant, really take me out when I'm out here. Fucking dodge the COVID. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing the juicing again, man. Yeah, I, I do that two I'm week juice sick. cleanse, man. I, your boy lost a lot of weight. So did I, man. I, I lost a good like twenty something pounds doing that. What yeah, was it? It was weeks, three weeks, it's three yeah. weeks. Yep. Plus. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not no, no. Me. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna, I don't got to. You're I'm clearly whatever some, you're doing is working. So I'm gonna work them into it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. not just juice. And I, I just that's just pointless because I'm not gonna peer juice for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? So you know. Yeah. So whatever. But I mean, it's definitely fresh doing it once. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. I, I fucking did this straight juice shit for three weeks. You know, it was cool. It was yeah, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> um, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to some of these chats here real quick. If you're cool with that. Yes. Yeah, I've that. had him queued up. Um, first one I got here, Logan Tallow said, uh, when are we going to see Creeps come back with the 50 Nugs? And can Shags give... Wait, big... hold on. Do you want to answer that? All right, all right, fine. Fine, I'll answer that. I'm conditioning, um, and I'm getting my body in, in pristine condition uh, for my comeback. But trust me, it will happen. I will keep you guys updated when it does happen. But I'm going to eat them 50 Nugs. And you know what? Sweet. <laughs> oh, you're good. Good. Oh, um, just blanked out. No, no, you're, you're good. You're good. Um, oh. So the second, oh, you the second. Know what, though, check it out. I'm gonna throw a stipulation in for you. They oh. don't have to be Wendy's nuggets. Okay. If you don't want. Okay. Just fifty nugs. Yeah. All right. That's fair. They can be. You can even like buy oven ones and cook your own nuggets. No, those are terrible. Those are terrible. Well, okay, well, they don't. I'm just saying. Yeah. Or you can get, like. Fucking uh, 10 packs of the fucking kids' cuisines, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> microwave 50 nuggets. Oh, those things are always so damn wet. You know, the corn and brownies that come with them, too, though. Man. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. All right. Um, uh, the second part of that question is, is cause can Shags give Big Papa Low and Jay Wicked from Calgary, Alberta, a shout-out? Oh, Big Papa Low and who? And Jay Wicked. Jay Wicked and Big Papa Low in the motherfucking <laughs> in the motherfucking uh, All right. The next one from No Smiles and Snuffy says, "Should I buy this right now? The Finish Line Episode One Wrap Canvas? Absolutely, you should buy that. What is it? it our canvas from Episode One. Yeah, why would you not? What That's kind a, of a great photo. Why? That was a, a moment of triumph." I, I, um, why would you ask us that? Like, why would we say no? <laughs> no, maybe you should. Of course, you should. That's why we. That's why we got it. <laughs> um, uh, our boy D Hawk says, "What's up, everyone? What's good?" Hey, uh, William Wallace said, uh, "Golf is permitted in Pittsburgh now." So I went for the first time, 
and I was thinking you two need to give it a go. Carts, clubs, goofy pants, and all. Oh, you know what? I was just on the verge of saying, you know what? Fuck golf. I hate golf. But it would be fucking awesome. I like episode. putt-putt. No, we should straight up go full on golfing. That's Dude, I've never awesome. done a full a I, full I, course. When, when, I, when I was ten years old, ten, eleven, I think twelve, I caddy, carried golf bags for for golfers. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm-hmm. That young, I was doing that shit. You know, so I know like I, I know how to like recommend clubs and all that shit. It's crazy, yeah. the weird fucking skill I got. And I, I, but I've only tried golfing once in my life. And I couldn't get the ball to go in the air. It just skidded across the fucking field or whatever you call it. The fairway. Flat yeah, lined it. I played like two fucking holes, and I was like, yo, I'm done, man. This is stupid. <laughs> I've never even done that. It is and golfing plus, and me. Parts now. Um, let me see here. B Clown said, much respect, everyone. Much love. Uh, All right. Casey, Casey Vega or Vega? I'm terrible with names. Uh, says, not just because I'm a juggaloco, Shaggy, how or what made you use the top rope leg drop as your finisher? Shout out to the creep for looking like Eddie Alvarez. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, isn't that like a UFC fighter? Am I mistaken? I don't know. I think it is. I don't know. Hold on. I got to yeah. see what Eddie Alvarez is now. You, Let's see. You, you, I'm Googling it, too, because I need to see it for myself. I've never gotten that one before. Normally, people say I look like Brad Pitt or... Yeah, a George Clooney. Oh, he he's a, yeah, he's a UFC. He's fighter. a UFC fighter, right? You I, look nothing like him. He, he he. It must just be the abs. You look like absolutely nothing like this guy. <laughs> 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 wow, I think so. He has a crush on you or something. Well, who, hey, uh, no, never, I'll, I'll take never, the compliment, I, man. I've never seen somebody look less like somebody else in my life, dog. That's that's like saying that I look like fucking I don't like fucking who's the guy from the Thor movies that watches the Rainbow Bridge? <laughs> I don't know. I'm supposed to be on my ass. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! That watches the what? How is that your go-to, man? I fucking love I, it. I don't fucking know. That's, just that's incredible. Can I look like that fucking guy? Oh my god! But and no. anyways, you got to answer that. The rest of that question: What made you use the top rope uh, leg drop as your you finisher? It's crazy. It, it's I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I can't tell you how I started doing that. Mm-hmm. I think because like um, I you know it might have actually been influenced by Sabu. I'm just okay. because I know like before I did. That, Yeah. It's my favorite. <laughs> no, I actually I did backyard wrestling when I was a kid. When I was a kid. Yeah, right on your tailbone. <laughs> At least doing that, you know what I'm saying? Dang. It, but but you know when you're actually doing it, it's like it doesn't hurt or not like that. You know what right, I'm saying? Because right. you got to you know this and that. But um, it, it's just it's just crazy. Oh, uh, it says audio down again. Yeah, no we, audio. We're, we're good. We actually got you plugged in. Um, on the camera part, so you're you're good to go there. We just had to make one minor tweak. Oh, okay. So you're but good. yeah, I mean, I don't know how the fuck I like. What made me say I'm gonna do it for the top rope? I, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But uh, I started doing it. And, uh, I just it was my yeah, go-to. And, uh, I was. You bring up a good point. I guess I don't think about that. Like if you're constantly doing that over and over, that's got to take a fucking toll, man. Why my back is so tore up? You know what I'm saying? It's like. You can't do leg drops from a top rope for Man. fucking years. And you know what I'm saying? It, it, it will. Oh, shit. Look at this. Hot off the press. Oh, what is that? Chocolate chip, fresh, hot off the oven cookies. Oh, dude, I want one. There. All right. <laughs> Those look fucking incredible. Um, uh, Logan Tallow again says, uh, Jekyll Bros was my first uh, ICP album, too. It's a classic. Whoop, whoop. 
Much Cloud Love number yeah. 21. That's what's up. Um, it's right here. Kristen T said, hey, you, with a little, it looks like a talking pear emoji. I really like that. It's very friendly. Um, talking pear, huh? Uh, Anthony said, time to squat and make a plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to make plans. That's the best way to make plans. Hey, it worked. We won. You got to sit down, squat, and face somebody with them squatting in front of you. <laughs> like, you get your plan going. Angel, uh, Angel uh, Pena or Pina says, Shaggy, can you give a shout out to my five year old daughter? What up, five year old daughter? <laughs> Did you say her name or nothing? Nope. Nope, they All just right. put a very happy face at the end of it, which is good. I'm her. assuming everyone in that family is in happy spirits over there. Angela Pena? Yeah. All right, well, what's up to your five-year-old daughter, Angela Pena? Um, Ignacia. Let me see here. Papa J. Fresh said, uh, get Violent J to drop into the middle of a random podcast with us with a dance boogie marathon. Oh, damn. That would be incredible. What the fuck you know about dance boogie marathon? Come <laughs> on, man. We're going, going you know, bucket, to Shaggy bucket, Show bucket, Classics bucket. here. Is that it? Um, Nope. I need oh. a sip of water. Uh, someone said, uh, Jason said, hell yeah, Shags. Big props to losing the eight pounds. My man, uh, and I like that I'm reading that comment as he's eating delicious chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but check it out. Now the difference? Mm-hmm. That's the first time they have eight chocolate chip cookies, number one. <laughs> number two, portion control. It's not a whole plate full of them. See? There's not 15 cookies on here. There was only three. I couldn't even make it past the co- the cookie dough. Um, I, I drop snacks on the floor, pick them up, and eat them. That's how I'm living. <laughs> That's how I live. Uh, cactus cock. Says, uh, here is some cash for a juice challenge. Be creative. That's what's up. Wait, what? Uh, be, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I was assuming hopefully he was talking about uh, juicing because I actually need need to do that. So ah, that's how okay. I'm going to imply it. Okay. Um, All right. Brian Wright says, what's up with the tattoo contest? That is coming very soon. I would assume by next week's podcast. Uh, we should be doing a live uh, drawing for that. A lot. It's a live drawing for a drawing. Wait, what? The tattoo oh. contest. I'm about to say, man, this this podcast ain't long enough for me to do a picture. <laughs> We're just picking the winners. Um, the Aussie Juggalo says, uh, "Finally got my gloomy Sunday this week in Australia. Even got the DVD. So much love for that." My favorite track is the MC Ren cover. I wonder if many Juggalos know that that song is a cover. The whole CD is fire. Well, thank you. I'm glad you got uh, the DVD with it. Yep. I had nothing to do with that. So thinking me, it's kind of pointless yeah, for it. Yeah, uh, it's but random. I got that because um, there's not that many of those DVDs. Mm-hmm. So it definitely is a uh, little bit of flavor there. Um, let me yeah. see. This is uh, Weeby says... Just got Smiley's Lyrics by Smiley album. My favorite tracks are I Ain't Doing Jack and Rhythm of Life. What are your favorite tracks? Do you think Fort and Junction is a COVID hotspot? What? <laughs> Remember I said I see some shit like that? Is he talking about Smiley, the rapper from Detroit from back in the day? I, I'm out on this one. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Smiley, though, right? Yeah, yep. It just got Smiley's Lyrics by Smiley album. Huh. But uh, if we're talking about Smiley yeah. from way back in the day in Detroit, then, uh, I mean, our big song was Smiley but not friendly. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It was pretty much was the only song she had. But um, she ended up working for WJLB, though. I always, everybody always thought she was washed up and didn't do shit after her little rap career in Detroit. But she works for the radio station. WJLB, you know is oh. that a... Uh... JLB? That's number one for rapping R&B. Oh right? yeah, I was man, I was thinking. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but I didn't have cable growing up. It was channel thirty eight, but I think that was like W A D L. I don't know why I was W-A-D-L. thinking that she was working for that that little TV thinking, channel. And on top of that, you're thinking about channel sixty two. Any, anyways, not well. Sixty two is like CBS, but there was like so 60, it turned into it back in the day. Sixty two was the local Detroit channel. Oh, was it really? 
Trust me, guys. Shit, okay. Well, you know what? I'm talking about from 40s to 90s. You know, there's a We're difference. It's kind of like you turn into the WADL type shit. You know what I'm saying? But so you do know what I'm talking about, though. This, yeah, back okay. when it was just like VHF and UHF. You know what I'm saying? That was Channel 62, which was like the WADL back in the day. Which Smiley's videos would be on because that was the local Detroit channel on the new, new dad show. No shit. Uh, show, yep. Well, you just Listen. completely schooled everything I was saying. So I'm speaking Greek to you right now. Yep, 100%. But now I want to go look it up. Everything I'm saying, you'll probably be 100% true. I, do, I don't even know. I'm going to be, I'm gonna who be ran real. Channel 62? Keegan, who ran Channel 62? R.J. Watkins. <laughs> Not only did he host <laughs> the new dance show, <laughs> but he also ended up having a fucking show called In the Hot Tub with R.J. <laughs> To be fair, you could say anything, and I would just have to believe you at this point. That's what I said. Hey, after we're done, go back and look at the replay. Right. And, yeah, and, and just look up everything. And, and I that said. show was called In the Hot Tub. It was, it was called. It was called uh, like In the Hot Tub with R.J. Watkins or with R.J. or something like that. Yeah. So wow. basically, it was like a talk show, but he'd be in a hot tub, and his guests would come sit in the hot tub with him. That's how. That's how you know it's Detroit TV, dog. Come on. <laughs> We're doing our podcast all wrong. Yeah, what the fuck? We don't Why have hot tubs. Play the pocket playbook, man. Come on. We could have had a hot tub show. Jeez, oh, Pete. So we got to do a couple fucking episodes from a hot tub. But I don't. <laughs> you got a hot tub? I don't. No. I um, do got a bathroom with jets in it. That we counts. It is hot outside, so fuck it. Yeah, we can sit in the bathtub, just put some hot water, and turn the jets on. <laughs> We'll wear bathing suits. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Well, day I wasn't going to think we were going to sit in there naked. Well, it's a bathtub, so maybe you thought I was going somewhere with it. But um, yeah, definitely bathing suits. Uh, Meth Bane, hey, I love the name, says, uh, go buy a Fago with this one. I appreciate that. Um, they should give meth money? Meth Bane. He's oh, like, a, you know, like, yeah, like the Batman villain, but on meth. meth. I'm about to say there are no babes that are meth heads. These are pretty busted up looking. Do you imagine Bane on meth? I'm thinking still what? a babe on meth. What? <laughs> they uh, probably, he probably wouldn't be so cock diesel. He'd probably be a stringy fuck. Been up for like three weeks. Right. 100%. I seen something on YouTube I was going to fucking watch, actually. <laughs> it, was, it was just that uh, what it's like to be on meth, binge for three weeks, <laughs> something like that. I got to watch it because I don't know if they're like following this motherfucker for three weeks where he's binging on meth or if he's just telling about it or if it's just some wild fucking meth head with a camera. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I got to peep that out. Fucking crackheads and meth heads and shit like that, they fucking, uh, it, it intrigues me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely it does. That's the best like, people watching. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you know? But yeah. Anyhow, go ahead. On that note. Ancient Lotus says, much clown love. Been a fan since 99. Hey, I hear that. Uh, thank you for your work. Hey, oh, hey. Uh, Shaggy, oh. would you be willing to be commissioned to draw me a lotus flower? <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> you don't want to draw some flowers? I'm not going to be commissioned to draw a flower. I know it's a lotus flower and everything, but I'm not getting commissioned to draw at all. What the fuck, man? I'm not a stuntman artist. Um, Brandon, Brandon Saltkill. If that's your real last name, that's incredible. Um, hmm. Saltkill? Good. He's not salty. Those are salt. <laughs> no salt zone. Man, we need to come out with no salt shirts. Yeah, we do. Salt-free zones, no salt. That's it's salt-free. Yeah. Got it. And hey, keep, yeah. keep an eye over uh, uh, Twitch merch is coming real soon too. Yeah. Um, you fuck out your chin. Brandon Saltkill talking about what's up with me tattooing you ninjas in my shop. Hashtag black collar tattoo. Uh, been down since the riddle box. Just no information where it's at. Nothing. <laughs> well, well, we can Google it off the hashtag. So it's probably, probably like somewhere in like Montana or something. It's like, all convenient for us to get to. <laughs> if, if we're ever in that area, um, I got a yeah. hairy fairy that needs to be covered up. So, King is the smarter one. He's all talking about, we can Google it from his hashtag. I'm all like, I don't know how to find you. 
There's probably a million of those tattoo shots. I, I thought your mom's tattoo would be like the only one. There was a lot of results for that place. Oh, was it? Yeah. I don't know if it's a chain or what. But. I was about to say, maybe it owns multiples. Yeah. Um, Let me see. But I think I'm about all caught up here. Woo! And I just in time for you finished your cookies, I see. Oh, they're done. They've been done. <laughs> they, <laughs> I, I killed them. Um, I just want to bring up one last thing right quick. Yeah. Before, uh, before we bounce out. Um, once again, it's the last time I'll bring it up, but I just want to see because, like, the, the raw comments in here for me are a lot easier to see than on Twitch. And I, like, brought up – I brought it up very briefly when we were, like, last week when we were just pretty much signing off. Mm -hmm. But um, I just want to see what everybody thinks about doing a virtual 5K – or Shaggy and the Creep Virtual 5K. You know what I'm Glad saying? Glad you I brought just, that up. Yep. Not saying 100% we're going to do it or not. I just want to see what the popular consensus is mm -hmm. if, we, if if we try to put one together. You know what I'm saying? If motherfuckers will uh, actually do it. You know what I'm saying? See if it's going to be a waste of time or not to do it. Just trying to throw something out yeah. there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not something healthy, too. Now that I'm fucking trying to lose a little bit of weight. You know what I'm saying? Get back on that fucking mm -hmm. uh, 5K tip, you know? Now, but, now uh, I, I remember you uh, talking about this on the stream, but obviously, I, you know, I was gaming, whatever, so I wasn't 100% locked in. Um, how exactly, for people like me that don't know what, a, a, like, a virtual marathon is, like, how does that work? How, how would... Well, uh, uh, it's only a 5K. It's not really a marathon. Well, because, you, know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, no, um, you know, I don't know the exact specs on it once uh -huh. again. Okay. Have, well, have you, you've done one, though, right? It's 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 all, like, honor system based. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like you sign up for it, whatever the fuck. Um, and I don't know. Like, we do it like like normal fucking, um, like, the normal 5Ks that I like do it. They'd be saying, like, a shirt and the metal and all that shit. Yeah. And all that for the virtual ones. You know what I'm saying? If you right. actually do them, you go, you check in, they give them to you and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um. You know, it's it sent to you, and then basically it's like you do it or you don't. You can lie and say you did it, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, and you just kind of, like, post the results and compare and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just a little flavor to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that'd be dope as fuck. And, it's not, it, it, it like, doing shit like that, you don't have to fucking run them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a 5K is, like, it's, like, just barely over three miles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so come on, man, when you were a kid, I used to walk fucking three miles from my homie's house. It wasn't shit, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I was a walking fucking super ninja. But, uh, you know. Yeah, so, I, you I know. think that's a dope idea, man. Yeah. And it, um, lo it looks like I'm looking at the comments. A lot of people saying they're down. Uh, Brian yeah, says, I do the virtual 5K. Anthony says, I'm down. Um, I didn't do a 5K. I mean, you know, you get, like, the fucking you get the T-shirt or the fucking running apparel shirt, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, and, like, a medal or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Those medals are pretty sweet, too. Yeah. Uh, Yo, the one but, we got, it's like a little chocolate bar. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, somehow there's one floor around here of Yoda. It was like the May, May 4th uh, marathon or whatever the fuck. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you do ours, you get nothing. You give us a lot of money to do it, and you get nothing in return. And basically, it never would even go down. You know, we just like. <laughs> but for, for, for a small add-on, you can get podcast insurance as well. Yeah. You can bundle but, it all together. Right, yeah, bundle it. Right, you want that podcast insurance for sure because, you know, you don't want your roof to get blown off your house again. Um, <laughs> no, but for real, though, man, I'm just trying to see what's up with this podcast shit because I think it, it'd be dope. It, it looks know? like it. Um, there was one comment just came in from Weeby says, uh, where would it be, uh, F and J, but... Um, it'd be wherever the fuck you exactly. want to Exactly, it. yeah, it's like a virtual and 5K. Park, so you, uh, you military crib, yep. whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You go to a couple of your homies, whatever the fuck, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You just, you just do it, you know what I'm saying? Then oh, you yeah. get, like, in a chat or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And you very talk about the shit, whatever the fuck, you know? Yeah. It's some flavor, you know? Oh, I, I see a comment here that um, this is kind of cool. Uh, it's Rudy Litwin said, we can film it and you guys could put it on the show. Well, we already did a fucking 25 kilo. No, 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 not us. I think he's talking about people that participate. Oh, yeah, see, now that'd be dope. We could yeah. put a little montage together, you know what I'm saying? yeah. And we, we could take, like, little snippets. Like, you guys could show off your setups, like, how you're doing it. The, maybe you're, you're running with your family, your friends, or some shit like that. That might yeah, be really yeah. fucking dope. Yeah, fuck it. I like yeah, that idea. Not, and it's not about fucking how fast. I mean, some people, like, you know, try to beat their own time or, you know, race with their homies. But it's not really about that. It's just about, you know, just doing the shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to walk it, walk or whatever, you know? Yeah. Or whatever. You know? I don't, I don't give a fuck. Okay, there's a... Uh, uh, 
Um, like some just more five Ks and virtual five Ks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the way it is, you know. I, I think we're on to something. I like that a lot. I, I like that a lot, and I, I really like that last comment. We could really make it fun because I want to see how other people are going to do it too. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I'm like, fuck it. You know, and I just now was thinking about this because I'm like losing weight now five Ks. I'm like, fuck it. Why not make this fucking summer like the fucking health, healthy summer? You know what I'm saying? You know, if if people got to, if some people got to be getting staying at home, thing, getting in shape. Yeah. You know, if that's your thing, whatever the fuck, you ain't gonna do all that. But just the fucking, yo, get out there and walk, man. You'll feel good about yourself. You know what I'm saying? It makes you feel good. Exercising in general makes you feel great. You know what I'm saying? It's like it fucking cures anxiety, depression, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like if I get a good workout in the morning. It makes my whole day fucking dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Waking up at six and like fucking lifting and then going like doing some running, dog. Forget about it. <laughs> no thanks. I seen your face. Yeah, I, 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 I was gonna be like, yeah, yeah, just agree. But I people would know I'm fronting like a motherfucker. But you they see how do, tight this jersey's I'm looking. When I do, I like to do it early in the morning because you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it, six it, is is about when I'm going to sleep. Right. Yeah. That's that's kind of um, as a grown man, it's not healthy for you unless you're you're a stock boy at Walmart. Yeah. And like, <laughs> Um, then you're a creepy ninja, anyhow. I want I want to read a couple more that uh that I, I accidentally did not see. But Liquid Mike said, "Y'all ever considering selling Shaggy or the Creep branded face masks? You want to take this one?" Um, I mean we we sold them in the past. I think through yeah. psychopathic. Yeah. Um, they they never really have been like too fresh in my opinion. They're always like really thick rubber or like. You know, say they never the likeness really isn't there 100. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they never did too well. You know what I'm saying? So it's probably gonna be a no on that. It'd be cool. Who knows? You know, it, this this is a little different than um <clears throat> than like hatchet gear and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's right. ran by just pretty much us, us. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, and who knows? If we find a place that does a reasonable play, price and they look good, it's like fuck it, why not? You know? Absolutely. But what happens? Well, we just discussed earlier how lame Keegan's face is, though. So. <laughs> we about that, like at the beginning of this program, no? Yeah, we did. That we we covered that. <laughs> yeah, um, but how about, like, like sort of lame as faces. And <laughs> someone, uh, Larry Vaughn. This is actually this is a pretty dope one. He said Keegan's mom has one arm and swings in circles. Sweet, <laughs> just a quick fucking your mama joke out of nowhere. <laughs> Yo, that, I've never heard that one before. That one's pretty fucking awesome. It's a good one. Um. Uh, Keegan, uh, so Casey said, Keegan, can we please see the creep fury uh, or creep flurry of punches? Um, we well, see the karate chop, we see the punches. Well, the thing is, is before I read that, I was getting ready to try it, and then my camera went out, so it's full screen shaggy. Um, but I actually punched my camera, and that's why <coughs> mine uh, went. So you can did actually it? see the can fist, I try it? the fist of flurry. Can I try to punch? Yeah, yeah, you go for it. Let, let's see the Shaggy Too Dope uh, Fist of fl Flurry. <laughs> I don't got it with you, bro. <laughs> How do you do it? Like, I know it's like, but I, I can't I can't do it. My arms want to if, if I seen that coming at me in the middle of a dark alley, I'm running. What? The, you're... <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't, I'm trying to do your tactic, but I can't get my arms coordinated to do it enough but just want to flail around and i don't have your speed and agility <laughs> can't do it my goodness am I, oh am i back, You're back. i'm back oh now i gotta oh. do it shit i was gonna try well, to read hey, the next hey, comment the right thing because we're talking about your ugly face and you cut it off <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, it's hurtful ass comments like that that make me want to no, disconnect i'm just telling you what he did <laughs> all right <clears throat> oh, hey gotta... don't shoot the messenger guy you know don't shoot the message. Oh, shit! Whoa. You know, that's when I like to do it, is when someone's in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> then you sneak up and you do that to them. Wow. Yeah, that was... I'm going to start calling you Grease Lightning. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first. Um, uh, Chaos Monoxide says, I live here in New York. How can I get a whoop dub from here? I, 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 I'm going to put in my two cents. Maybe you know better than me. But I believe you can go to icp.beer is the website. And as long as your state can, like, you can legally, I think, ship there, you'll yeah. see the options. Um, yeah. I could be wrong. Maybe you know more than me, but I believe that's how. No, I, th I think you are correct. Um, either that or fucking um, uh, 
get old sweet California that can get it there and um, ship it out to you. But uh, yeah, I, I, I believe you're correct with that right there. Yeah. So go ahead and give that a whirl and uh, see what happens. Much love, Cam. We we'll appreciate it. Forty of a ball. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm 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 pretty good over there. You got any anything you want to close with? Um, I, I'm not I'm not down with close, but um, um, <laughs> as it stands right now. We're still sitting on the episode, not the vlog, but um, I will be filming some shit in the next couple days. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what Keegan's going to be doing because we're still playing. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we might have to do a couple solo vlogs again. But Yeah, because you know. I'm not down to like, actually like interact with like strangers and shit like that until it's totally cool, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but definitely, what the fuck are you doing with your mouth? Nothing. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> why did you do that for? Just I just had this impulse to do it, so I did it. What the fuck was that? Anyhow, um, <laughs> you just threw me off like a motherfucker. I know. I, I, I do. I do that before I hit you I, with the I, fury of punches. Yeah. So uh, there'll be at least a new vlog coming soon. Yeah. Uh, this Friday, Samurai Showdown Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Within yes. three days. Um, of course, that uh, you know we got the uh, one week podcast again. Then pretty much every night twitching with uh, Keegan. Yep. Um, Pretty much every night, right? You're on twitching. I, I twitch a lot. Yeah, pretty much Monday, Wednesdays, uh, Fridays, and and I try to sneak in a Saturday or a Sunday. There you go. And then uh, coming up soon, hopefully uh, we'll do a Lucha Ronan Keegan uh, Minecraft, Minecraft night. Yeah, and he was just talking about Animal Crossing earlier, so who knows? Oh, who fucking knows? I'm all about that. Either or, or up. both. But uh, Animal Crossing, I was like, I don't know what the fuck is up with Animal Crossing. I never played it, guy. So, I'll teach him Animal Crossing. He can teach me Minecraft. There you go. All right. Sounds like a fair trade up with a grown man I know hanging out with my five year old son. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds real cool. Oh, 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 over the internet. It's totally over safe. The internet with video games. You got. But I'm gonna have fucking Chris Hansen tapping on my shoulder. Right. <laughs> Where was the fucking the candy? <laughs> uh, real quick, Larry yeah. came in and said uh, Shaggy should moonwalk the whole virtual 5K. Ah, see, now we're talking. That'd be uh, moonwalk. That'd probably be some kind of world record. Moonwalking three miles. Golly! But do you know you gotta pay like ten grand for those fucking Guinness Book assholes to come out and like put you in their book? I didn't. Know. Well, you know what? It makes sense that they would make a because yeah, no, everybody no. be calling them to their house. Yeah, it costs a lot of money to get them out there to fucking verify your shit or whatever, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I won't be getting all world fucking things. It, actually, it costs, like, fucking, like, 30 grand. I might be getting the numbers fucked up or something, but uh, something like that, like, 30 grand um, when you get nominated or however the fuck they do it for a, a mm-hmm. star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, it's like, they don't just put it there. You got to fucking pay for it. It's like 30 I did G. not know that. Yeah, see, I got all the insiders fucking snake tips, how they fuck you up. <laughs> snake tips. All right. <laughs> um, other than that, I just want to see pretty much cover that. We're going to be working on new vlogs um, as well as the new merch just dropped. Do not forget about yes. that. Yes, uh, the wizard. No. Yep, Sha- Shaggy the uh, Wizard, Keegan the Orc. You, yeah, and if you ain't seen uh, this episode that we just dropped on Thursday, I suggest you watch it because the shirts will make more sense. Yes. <laughs> if you watch it, I mean, basically it's just a couple little one-liners from it, but you'll understand why there's a wizard and ogre on the shirts and not like a COVID mask or something. <laughs> and the shirts got nothing to do with fucking COVID games. Absolutely or nothing. Or parks or COVID in general. It has something to do with games in general, I'd like to think. Uh, Yeah, I guess kind of like yeah. a Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. An RPG it, do, it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't need to. See, ro- RPG, that could be role-playing game or rock and propel grenade. You don't know which one I was talking about. No, you no I definitely, de- definitely didn't see the second option there. Right, exactly. <laughs> Had me in the first half. <laughs> All right, well, fuck. It's just starting to get goofy now. Yep. All so, right. you know what the fuck is coming up. Don't forget the fuck. Oh, yeah, if fucking I tell you and all your people to fucking subscribe in this bitch. Please. Please. From YouTube, you know what I'm Come saying? Come on. If you haven't hit that subscribe YouTube button, button do it. Subscribe this bitch. It costs you nothing. One more thing. Gaming Balls just said, Shaggy, are you still coming to Dallas in October? Uh, I'd imagine so. We're booked to. I don't see why we wouldn't unless the, the president or your governor is like, no. Then you won't. <laughs> oh, no. But, like, listen, how, how dope is that, though? We can get fucking money from YouTube 
by you just hitting a button, no cost to you whatsoever. Now, look, yeah. if there was a button for me to push right now for you to get paid and absolutely no effort on my end besides pushing a button and getting entertained, you know how quick I'd fucking do it? You know what I'm saying? Why would I not? <laughs> Anyhow, all right. We're trying That's- to take over YouTube, guys. We're building the strongest community on YouTube. That's right. Day by uh- day. Be a part of it. Why wouldn't you want to be a part of this? Yeah, fuck face. Yeah. Idiot. There you go. I took your fucking I line. Took it right out of my mind. I got nothing I to say now. Dang, I snatched it fuck, out your mind. Fuck, dude. Well, you need to start saying you know what I'm saying or uh, say cheese o pizza or something. I don't fucking I do know. say cheese o pizza a lot. I, I said it about three times tonight. Oh, shut up. Cheese o pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, fucking stuck on saying that fucking thing. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, 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 yeah, I think that's about it, man. All right, guys. We will see you Friday on Twitch. Uh, I'll right. be out, I'll be streaming on Twitch tomorrow as well, and I know as always check at Shaggy.icp because you're always uploading some fucking wild shit to your Instagram. Yeah, and follow gonna... the uh, at Shaggy and the Creep Show on all your uh, social media outlets as well. Yeah, at Shaggy and, and the Creep. Said, Shaggy and Creep. First time I said it this episode, and that being said, that's another thing I've been picked up saying. And that being said, anyhow. We'll see you uh, next week. Why don't do that? All right, man. sorry. I'm. I'm. See, I'm fucking. I can't. No, I don't do that. All right.